Hi YouTube, hey Drew here talking about a Newman motor that I finished uh, working up. I'm going to share it for anybody that else out there that's interested in Newman motors. Um, this is uh, a 30 pound unit, so there's two 15 pound coils top and bottom. This is a five pound generator coil. All my wire is number 30. It's multi-strand to keep the voltage requirement down so it doesn't need four or 500 volts. Uh, it's got a commutator on the side here. This is the way that Newman uh, explained it. If you look at his drawing here, which uh, you can probably find this on the internet posted around, or I can put it in the description. Um, the theory behind the motor is when you have enough wire, uh, it takes very little power to create a very strong magnetic field. The more wire you have, the more turns, the more um, higher strength magnetic field. And inside here, you've got some magnets rotating south north. Um, when the commutator engages, it engages right about this point, it creates a magnetic field. It'll align this rotor, then the contacts break, momentum carries it around, and it reconnects uh, backwards, sends current backwards to the coil, pulls the rotor in the opposite orientation, and it continues on over and over and over that way. Uh, simple design and again the theory is that if you have enough copper in the motor it will put out more power than it takes to run the motor which i think is super exciting if that's really possible i haven't been able to prove that it's not even close this is about 15 percent efficient right now maybe 25 on a if i really get it tweaked right but i'll show you how it runs anyhow so go ahead and turn it on here give it a little spin It's running on about 81 and a half volts. The draw is 0.1 amp, so it's about eight watts going in. And then there's a light bulb back there that's being powered at 10 volts and about 60 milliamps. So it's like 0.6 watts out, uh, eight watts in. Like I said, it's not very efficient. Um, but for anyone out there that's working on Newman motors, uh, I thought this was as true to his design as I could afford at the time, anyhow. Uh, so there you have it, a commutated Newman motor. Thanks for watching.